Next guy up is the furthest back of any performer tonight. Uh, before I came to the state of Washington, we had open mics in California, and uh, a place called the Tangent, and uh, that was uh, right near the university of, uh, at Stanford University, just about three, four blocks off the stage there. And we had two uh, Simon and Garfunkel type groups, Mark and Ed, and uh, what was the other one? Ed was the other one. So. Out of those two Eds came two of the greatest guitarists that we ever had around, Ed Littlefield, who ended up here, and then Ed Johnson, who went on to do great songs and writing and jazz and albums and stuff that he's doing at the Puget Sound Guitar Workshop. So lots of things came out of that workshop, and some of those musicians came up here, like uh, Frank Ludwig is now up here, uh, the late Eric Eshelman was probably, ended up coming up here. So we, we were able to carry some of those people up here. And this fella came in with Mark and Ed uh, back in 1968, I guess, somewhere in there. And now he's up in Arlington in writing. Got real sick real recently and now making a recovery and back on stage, thank God. Welcome, Volkart Vorkaraz. When you get a bunch of old people talking about their ailments, and I walk in and somebody's talking about his back, and somebody else is talking about his prostate, and somebody else is talking about his eyes, and I'm going to talk about my heart. My brother warned me about times like this, and he said, that's when they all have start having their organ recitals. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> so my organ recital is that an, over Memorial Day, I was bicycling on Lopez Island, and I passed out and crashed my bicycle, and I knew something was wrong. And a week later, I got rushed to the hospital with chest pain, and they put in two stents. Two weeks later, I was feeling better, and I think, hey, I might survive this. And I got rushed to the hospital again with chest pain, and they put in one more big stent, because they missed that one the first time around. And that took me almost all summer to recover from those two surgeries. And um, so, my very first camping trip, my wife and I love to hike and camp, and we went to Cooper Lake in eastern Washington near Lake Cleelum, and um, uh, we were there for three nights in the great campsite by the, by the lake. And uh, the second morning, I woke up with this song in my head, and uh, almost intact. It's never happened to me before. And the lyrics and the melody was there complete, so I sang it into my phone, and uh, then later that day, we hiked along the Cooper River, and that's where I got the bridge. But I had three lines of the bridge, and I was missing a fourth line. I put it away, and about two months later, I pulled it out. And uh, with the help of my wife and my assistant at school, we finished up the song. But the first part of the song is pretty much how I woke up to it, except I didn't have a guitar in my hand at the time. <laughs> Raise me up to greet the coming of the day. Raise me up to meet whatever comes my way. Raise me up to heed what the wise men say to live each day like it's my final day. Raise me up to see what's invisible to me. Raise me up to be what I was meant to be. Raise me up to hear the wind above the trees and be near the one who's ever near to me. This is the day that the Lord has made. If life gives you lemons, then make some lemonade. This is the first day of the rest of your life. Adages like these have helped me face my strife.
me up to greet the coming of the day. Raise me up to heed whatever comes my way. Raise me up to hear, heed what the wise men say, to live each day like it's my final day. Raise me up to see what's invisible to me. Raise me up to be what I was meant to be. Raise me up to hear the wind above the trees and be near the one who's ever near to me. something to uh, commemorate the occasion and I had a completely different song in mind for tonight but uh, this afternoon JW posted a song called Christmas in the Country and I listened to it and I absolutely loved it I was hoping he was gonna do it tonight but he didn't so I'm gonna do my version of, of a different song uh, because the song his song I, I, I would send the message and I said JW that sounds like the town of Snohomish is it and he said yes, definitely. So there's some references in his song. And look for his song, J.W. McClure, Christmas in the Country. And so this is my version of a song about Christmas in Snohomish. I'm gonna do it twice, and maybe you'll sing along a second time around. If they call this little town Snohomish, and this is where my home is, there's one thing that I've got to know. Where's the snow? Where's the snow? Where's the snow? I don't want to sound like complaining, but it seems it's always raining. If it's Christmas, I've got to know. Where's the snow? Where's the snow? Where's the snow? When it's winter in Washington, with the rain coming down by the ton, and there's snow in the mountains around, why can't it come to our town? My sled and my skis are waiting And I want to go ice skating I'm dressed and I'm ready to go Where's the snow? Where's the snow? Where's the snow? One more time! If they call this little town Snowhomish And this is where my home is There's one thing that I've got to know Where's the snow? Where's the snow? Where's the snow? want to sound like complaining, but it seems it's always raining. If it's Christmas, I've got to know. Where's the snow? Where's the snow? Where's the snow? When it's winter in Washington, with the rain coming down by the ton, and there's snow in the mountains around, why can't it come to our town? My sled and my skis are waiting. I want to go ice skating. I'm dressed and I'm ready to go. Where's the snow? Where's the snow? Where's the snow? Thank you. <laughs> 